Everybody has an imagination. Everybody has a need to understand the mysteriousness of being alive. There are so many different ways to access art, like a feeling, a bit of inspiration. Sometimes you want to just walk through and be surprised by something. So everything feels like you're just discovering it. We're really somewhere where things can happen. We had done the Pressman to Mary on Broadway and we were trying to find a place to do it in London. And the barber said, come and do it with us. It then lays before you all of its huge technical facilities, abilities, time, rehearsal spaces. And then on top of that, there is a layer of genuine, passionate care, ambition, uh, hope for the success of the piece. It has been the singular most important institution for bringing us international theatre. Being at the Barbican and being with other musicians more or less our age and like from different boroughs in different countries is amazing. You realise how much you do have in common. So the space itself isn't just a platform, but actually you're part of a history very quickly. And that is very, very important, but also encouraging for young musicians coming through and you are touched by association. Really, we can really see the passion and love that everyone has for the arts here. Very, very awesome. I used to come here when I was five or six years old and I did like puppet workshops and stuff. I think I'm just more open now for like different things about the art, so I'd like try different things. I've been having conversations about art and making art in response to those conversations. We've been given talks by loads of different artists and different medias. It's kind of encouraged me to like continue going on this path. Exciting, crazy and fun. It's not exclusive, it's inclusive. I think the Barbican's for everyone. It's a very good place for ideas. You never know what it's going to come up with. It's always open to experiment and can facilitate experiment. In Simon McBurney's encounter, you had a silent auditorium. I took off my earphones to cheat, to listen to it. So we could hear everything he was saying very close up in our ears, but the auditorium itself was silent. I just loved it. I thought it was incredible and uh, what a, an experience. I'm overwhelmed coming out from that. In that instance, the entire audience was in a state of experiment. Whether they're jazz musicians, opera singers, classical musicians, orchestras, to be housed in one building means that they know that this is a sort of haven for the arts.